Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code for, uh, 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. As you know student in last lecture we did question number 11 of exercise 9.4 and the topic of exercise 9.4 is the graph of trigonometric function. After doing question number 11 today we are going to do question number 12 of this exercise. But before I start my lecture first I advise all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is admath watch all previous lectures then you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 12 you can see on the screen question number 12 part a on the same grid sketch the graph or graphs of y is equals to sin x and y is equals to 2x 2x for 0 to 360 this is this is domain so we cannot go beyond 360 degrees so students we will make the table for both the equation you can see on the screen part a i did some work for you first taking y is equals to sin x this is the general equation so for the graph of general equation of sin x and the table is very easy just take uh, 90 degree gap so 0 degree sin 0 is 0 then this sin 90 is, sin 90 is 1 then take 180 degrees sin 180 is 0 then take 270 degrees sin 270 is minus 1 and then 360 degrees and sine 360 degrees is 0 not 1 this is the mistake 0 so when we have uh, sine function simple sine function we just take uh, 90 degree gap on x axis so this is the table of uh, y is equals to sin x now taking the second given equation which is y is equals to 1 plus sin 2x for this equation we must find the uh, period of the function in order to make the table so what is the formula of the period the formula of the period is uh, 360 degrees upon b the b is the coefficient of x in this equation the coefficient of x is 2 so 2 divided by 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees therefore the period is 180 so we will take the gap uh, 45 degrees because uh, uh, when we put uh, 45 instead of x so 2 into 45 gives 90 and sin 90 is uh, 0 0 plus 1 is it is so it is necessary sorry sin 90 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so it is ne necessary to take the values of the angle which uh, uh, which will give you the answer in uh, whole number form not decimal form try to take the values if we take 90 degree gap the graph is uh, very small and we will not achieve many values and we will not achieve our required solution okay so take 45 degrees so when we put 0 in the equation 1 plus sign 2 into 0 is 1 then 1 plus sine 2 into 45 is 2 1 plus sine 2 into 90 is 1 so use scientific calculator to get the values now draw x and y axis and according to the requirement we have to sketch both the graphs in a same axis so take the values on x and y axis in order to cover all values in both the tables so I take 4 squares to 45 degree on x axis and 4 square to 1 on y axis 
first I am making the graph of y is equals to sin x. So sin 0 is 0, sin 0 is 0, sin 90 is 1, sin 180 is 0, sorry, sin 180 is 0, this is wrong, this is 135. Sin 270 is minus 1 and sin 360 is 0. So, at 135, this is wrong. So, start from 0, passes through 180. then passes through this is 225 so this is the graph of y is equals to sin x now i will use another color pen in order to draw the second graph. The second graph is when x is 0 then y is 1. So this is the first point. When x is 45 then y is 2. This is second. When x is 90 then y is 1. When x is 135 then y is 0. When x is 180, then y is 1. When x is 225, then y is 2. When x is 270, then y is 1. When x is 315, then y is 0. When x is 360, then y is 1. Now join all the points. Join all red crosses. Excuse me. So this is the graph of y is equals to 1 plus and this is the graph of y is equals to the black one y is equals to sin x. I hope you completely understand how to sketch two graphs in one axis. What is next? Part B, look carefully. State the number of roots of the equation sin 2x minus sin x plus 1 is equal to 0 for 0 to 360 degrees. Do a little calculation. One equation is given y is equal to sin x. And the second equation is y is equal to 1 plus sin 2x. Now compare both the equation it will be sin x is equals to 1 plus sin 2x shift on other side it will be sin 2x minus sin x plus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the equation which is given in part b. So just look carefully both the graph in how many uh, intersections 
you can see in red and black graph so clearly there are two intersection one is this and other is this and these two intersections are your answer so number of part b number of roots are how many intersections you are seeing two so two is the answer so hope you completely understand how you can get the number of roots with the help of two or more graphs just focus on crosses focus on point of intersections of both the graphs so this is our today's class where we did question number 12 a very important question and do practice more and more and more what next question number 13 almost the same question and question number 14 is almost the same question don't worry we will do remaining two questions in next lecture so if you are satisfying my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can good luck for next good luck for next lecture